So I'm going to show you guys how to quickly search for files on your Ubuntu operating system using a GUI utility that's very simple to use. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And like I stated, I wanted to show you guys a search utility that you can use within Ubuntu and other Linux operating systems. It's available on other ones uh, that will allow you to search, you know, all your files on your system quickly. Now in the past, I've showed you guys how to use some command line utilities, but I also wanted to show, you know, some GUI utilities that can help you uh, when it comes to searching for files and different things on your system and the name of this uh utility is called f search and i found it a little while back and i've been using it on my system just to quickly find files and i thought i would share with you guys because i think it's an excellent application i use it on my orch system my main orch system but it can be installed on ubuntu so i'm gonna show you guys how to use it on ubuntu i know ubuntu is like one of the most popular Linux distributions, as well as, you know, Ubuntu based distributions that are out there. Uh, these steps that I'm going to show you will work on all those systems, but it's other ways to install them for other distributions, which they do have instructions on how to install it over there. But let's hop over to the GitHub page because I wanted to at least show you guys the application a little bit before I get it installed and show you guys how to use it. So let's check this out. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, cool. So as you can see, we are at GitHub and this application was created by Cbox Defer. And so you can check out his page there. I'll have the link down in the description of the video so you guys can check out this application. But it says uh, F search and a file, a fast file search utility for Unix like systems based on GTK3 and there's all the licensing and and all the information about it but here's the main files and they do have a readme.md this shows you how the app, actual application works so you can read this at your leisure but just to read the first sentence it says uh f search is a fast file search utility inspired by everything search engine it is written in c and based in gtk3 uh this is what it looks like it's a pretty awesome application. Uh, you have a lot of ways to search for things within your file system. Uh, and this application, you know, is really beneficial, especially if you're not good with the command line, you can use this in a GUI, it's a GUI application. You can open it up and you can search for files on your uh, system. Now here are some of the features, but it says instant as you type. So uh, while you're typing, it will start filtering out the search results uh, below and then advanced search syntax. So they do have some syntax you can write in there. Wildcore support, regex support, uh, filter support, only search for files, folders, and everything. Um, yeah, and that's that filter uh, is, is dope. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you guys what I'm talking about there. Uh, but include and exclude specific folders to be indexed, uh, ability to exclude certain files, folders from indexing using wildcard expressions, uh, fast sort by file name, path size, and or modification time. Uh, customizable interface, uh, switch between traditional UI with menu bar and client side decorations. So, um, and then also requirements. So these are the required uh, applications that need to be installed. But I mean, you'll you'll get it installed if you follow exactly the way I show you uh, in this video. But here are the ways to download it. They have a PPA uh, for Ubuntu in Arch Linux. There is in the AUR, so you can install it that way. That's the way I installed it on my system. All you have to do is have an AUR helper. That's the easiest way to get it installed on Orch. Uh, and you can install it directly from the Orch user repository. And then for Door, Debian, Open Build Service. So they do have an Open Build. And then Flatpak. Um, 
I'm not sure what's up with this flat pack. I think it's not working at the moment. Uh, not 100% sure, but also Solus is in a repository and Freshboard for free as free BSD. Um, and they do have some build instructions. So you can click right here. That'll take you to the build instructions, which we're going to go there in a couple seconds. But I just wanted to, uh, let's see, it was something else I wanted to show you guys. Well, nah, let's go over to the uh, build instructions. So I can show you guys how to get, get it installed. And actually, let's not go there. That's the wrong one. And I'm clicking on the wrong link. And here we go. So build instructions. And this will show you guys how to get it installed on all these different systems. So what I want to show you guys here under Snap, it says Snap is no longer officially supported. Um, so let's click there. And I want to go to how to install F search instead. This is the way I want to recommend you guys install it. Um, and let me just read a little bit. It says if you want to continue using F search in a supported way, uh, first remove the Snap package. So that's if you had a Snap package installed, which uh, you, you probably don't. Uh, you're probably just trying to get in install. Uh, you can do this either by using the uh, Ubuntu Software Center or by executing snap remove F search in the terminal. Then if you're running Ubuntu or a derivative like Zubuntu, Linux Mint, the preferred way to install F search is using the official PPA. And this is the link to the PPA. So this is what we're going to follow, you know what I'm saying, and get this thing installed. So let's hop over to my virtual machine so we can go through the install all right cool so i am on the virtual machine uh this is ubuntu 22.04 and i went on update uh or open the f search um uh, github page again and we're gonna go there and get the ppa link so i can show you guys how to quickly install it um all you have to do is click on wiki and then go over here to the snaps not deported supported and then how to install f this instead or f search instead and we can go through and copy our repository right fast and open up our terminal and the first thing you want to do whenever installing something new on your system is to update the system so sudo apps updates and i already know the system is updated i just updated it before this video uh, so this system is fully up to date. Now, let's go on add our PPA. Boom. And when you run this command, it's going to refresh the repository again. Uh, so let's go through. It, it only take a second to add the repository. And you may have to hit enter. Yeah, adding repository. Press enter to continue. Uh, and that's basically just the information about the repository that you're adding to your system. And it'll refresh. And you'll see it pop up with uh, Christian uh, box to four uh f search stable so that's the stable repository that we're using so let's go on and install it now we're good uh you can run the update command again that'll refresh it again just to make sure now we can run the sudo apps install uh f search and press enter boom and that'll get that installed for us and any other any other dependencies that are needed to get this thing working uh so as you can see didn't require any dependencies nothing else you know popped up uh, it may be different for you it may not uh but it should just install f search right away uh so we can exit out our terminal and and uh open up uh f search and the way you get to it just go to your menu and like i said it's a utility it'll pop up as a you know a newly application just like any other way and as you can see, I already had it installed, so it already has some configurations in it um, a little bit. I was just playing around with it on here just to verify. Uh, but just to show you guys uh, a little bit, uh, this is what it'll actually look like when you get it installed. So that's exactly what it'll look like. You know what I'm saying? You won't see any you know, folders or anything. Uh, and so what I do, uh, I just go on and set my databases, uh, which is my locations that I want to be searched. And you can get specific or non-specific as possible. Um, one thing I like to search, I really like to search my documents. I like to specify the locations I want to search within here because I always have trouble finding things in my documents. I have, you know, <laughs> a whole bunch of files on my system, uh, whether it's dealing with the videos that I record or whether it's dealing with um, you know pictures that I need or pictures that I'm editing or projects that I'm working on 
I have a whole bunch of files and I'm talking about my main system. Now on here, it's really nothing. I just copied a few files over here so we can have something to search. But I get specific, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to, but uh, like for instance, you could select um, just your home directory and that'll search everything. But the problem with that, it's gonna include, uh, and we'll add it right fast, but it's gonna include like all your hidden directories. It's gonna search pretty much everything. Uh, all the files that are associated with your profile and everything so applications that you have installed all your configurations for all of that is stored under your home directory in hidden files and so <laughs> uh, it's going to search all that and it's going to be kind of hard to find what you're looking for i mean it's an easy search tool once you start playing around with it you just have to specify uh the directories though and let me go down and do a quick search right fast and just show you guys what i'm saying so let's say we want to filter out some of this stuff. So let's go home um, and then Josh. Uh, and then let's say I want to look under only my documents directory. So we can specify that. So documents and then you can hit, hit a space bar. And let's say we want to look for text files. All we have to do is put that search term of text. So text files, boom, it'll find text files. And this is what I mean by filtering as well. So let's go back. Um, this will, you know, help you as well. Right now, the filtering is set to all. So we can only look for files. So that's a quick way of switching. So you don't have to type the file name. Let's say you want to look for text files. You only want to look for files. Then this will filter out only files. And let's say you need to go from there. Let like, for instance, that find command uh text file uh let's just type fine and it's case sensitive just so you guys know but as you can see fine it found that uh file for us and then also let's say we type a s in there that'll filter out you know everything that has that s in it in a capital s um so that's dope man you know what i'm saying uh that's super dope and let's go down and back that off and let's say we only want to look for folders in there so it'll filter out show you only the folders in there um now let's go back to all and let's go back out to let's see i think i have some stuff under either videos no pictures so pictures and and now we want to look for files as well so under my pictures directory i have like a random images folder uh so actually let's go under that folder as well so random images and then let's say we only want to look for files and what i did was i put the forward slash after images so it would know that that's not a search term uh since this folder has a space in between the name on the folder uh you kind of have to you know how in certain i say things in the command line you have to put quotes in it or you have to put the backslash in order to <laughs> let the command line know that there is a space in between a file name uh, so you can get to the to the the full file folder name, so to speak, or directory name. Um, this will help you with uh, getting, you know, by putting that forward slash on the end, that'll help you uh, close out, you know, that directory name and including the rest of the name in it. And then let's go down and filter out. Let's look just for files under that directory. And let's say we want to look for only png so this is an awesome you know way of filtering things out you know you're only looking for files and you know those files are pngs so and then also we could do the same thing um with like another file type let's say jpeg so J jpg so we could pull up only jpegs and then we can search from there and then also you can put a space in there and you can put another search term so pixel um, and I have some images that have the name Pexel in it that'll filter those out as well. So it'll look through both of those search terms and look for JPEGs and then it'll look for the name Pexel in the file. So like I said, this is an awesome tool. Uh, let's go through and show you guys a little bit more. Uh, but just to show you some of the menu options, uh, you can open a new window menu. You can open a folder, update the database. Uh, that's if new files have been added or something since you you know last uh close the application but the way it's set in the preferences is that it will update the database as soon as the application is open if you go under database 
uh, it'll update database on stored. So each time you close and stored it, even if it's new, I mean, if it's new files there, it'll add those files to the database. Now, let me go back here. Let's see, close window, close up, cancel update, close window quick. And that's mainly if you have a whole bunch of files. If you got a whole bunch of files, it'll take some time uh, depending on, you know, the depth of the files and just, just a full um, update of the database. It could take a little time. Now, under edits, we have our sim, our normal edit features like copy, cut, select, deselect, invert selection. And then, like I said, those preferences that we went to. I'm going to go back in them in a second. But you do have some options on the view. So show status bar, show filters. You can also do show search button. So that's just that button over there. You can add that in there. It's turned off by default. Now, under search, you can match, match case. And sorry about that, but match case enable reg X, and then also we have our about under there. So this is a stable version, PPA stable version 0.2.2. .2. So that's the version that we have installed. And let's go back into the preferences. I just wanted to, I don't know, go through a little bit of this, but this is mainly for the interface. So enable dark theme, um, enable client side decorations, require restart. So you can do that as well. Um, that's what the, some of the features they were talking about. Uh, behavior after successfully open files. You can change that um, with keyboard shortcuts, menu entries. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of you know little details you could do in here especially with the interface and then here we go with the preferences this is some of the preferences uh search empath when query contains and it's awesome man it's just that's a great search whoever wrote this you know search they did a good job on actually understanding how to query data you know real good so they did an awesome job and i know it's other ones out there i just you know like this one i recommend this one but it's super dope now uh let's see under database i showed you guys that but uh you can add more than one you can include or dis uh exclude so that's one cool thing about it like for instance i was saying that um you know you didn't let's say you didn't want to include your uh hidden directories or something you only want to look at your files or directories specific directories so uh you can go in here you may have to uh show hidden boom and then we can go through and select all of these if you don't want these searched uh so i'm gonna select them all with the using shift uh that selected them all and we can hit select and it won't it'll exclude those directories so we won't see those hidden directories that's something you can actually do uh so you don't have to kind of specify you know not looking at those files so it's super dope now i hope you guys enjoyed the video go down and check out f search it's super cool super dope application that can help you search files and then also it's a gui you know application i know i've done in the past i've shown like fd um you know i showed showed you how to use the find command using grep and you know filtering and all that stuff uh as piping and grepping and all that stuff i've shown you guys that in the past but this is a easy to use gui application to make you know switching over to linux a whole lot easier and that's why i wanted to show it to you guys today but i hope you guys enjoyed it please like share and subscribe to the channel uh, if you have any questions leave comments down in the comments below and of course keep it techy.